Common School Movement and Horace Mann. The background on Horace Mann was that he was born in Massachusetts in 1769 to a poor uh, farming family. While he was growing up in this poor for, uh, farming family, he only had six weeks of schooling yearly between the ages of 10 to 20. He was self-taught, and at the age of 20, he was accepted to Brown University. While he was at Brown University, he taught Latin and Greek, and he graduated in three years as a valedictorian. Afterwards, he was admitted to law school. After graduation, he was elected to the Massachusetts Legislature in 1827. In 1835, Massachusetts State Senate, and in 1837, he became the first Secretary of Education for the Massachusetts Board of Education. And in 1838, he founded and edited the Common School Journal. Common School Movement, um, while he was doing his evaluation, while he was the secretary in the board, from the Board of Education, he went around and observed different schools. And upon his observations, he noticed that all the schoolhouses were in poor condition, the teachers were male, they were monotone. They kind of stood in place. Um, and then after he completed his travels and his annual reports, um, he decided that women should be placed as teachers um, due to their nurturing ability. He stated there has to be some type of new teacher training. Also, the curriculum needed to have religious values taught every day that would also teach the students morality. And then he kept uh, asking his supporters for a tax-supported elementary public school uh, education for all. Um, the benefits of the common school were that everyone would have a common learning experience. Educating all of the classes, that, that's meaning from the higher class, the middle class, and the lower class, uh, would allow the lower class to advance in the social scale. And he stated multiple times that education would equalize the conditions of men, but also produce democratic citizens. Uh, and due to the extra education, he thought that maybe there would be less crime, poverty, so the need for fewer prisons. And also the common school movement uh, provided a free education for all students. When he moved from theory to practice, he was the first person to ever found a university for teacher training. He also uh, began the state certification process that was necessary for teachers to become teachers. He established the written examinations, and he hoped that from training from the normal school, which is the university that he created, that he felt that teachers would have more skilled training, higher pay, and a better motivation uh, to teach their students. Uh, while under um, Mann as a Secretary of Education, there was greater revenue for public schools. He created a centralized system that would monitor uh, and manage the primary and secondary schools, which we now would see as a Board of Education. Uh, he also had equal programs throughout the state. So for when students move from school to school within the one state, they would all be on the same page. He also standardized the requirements for the diploma. And right before his death, uh, he became the first president of Antioch College. And in that college, he was able to um, prepare and add a, a preparatory school for those less qualified, uh, open to all races and genders. One of the most famous quotes from Horace Mann is, education beyond all other devices of human origin is a great equalizer of conditions of men, the balance wheel of the social machinery. It does better than to disarm the poor of their hostility toward the rich. It prevents being poor.